Well, in the last video that I will bring you for the day, it would appear that our friend Sadiq Khan is the subject of a possible code of conduct probe over certain comments he made with regard to people that opposed the ULES expansion. Called them far right. Well, what else did he say, which may or may not be truthful? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, last one of the day, hope you're well and thank you very much for joining me again, make sure the uh, notification bells hit so you keep up to date with everything we do here, make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, it all helps spread the channel and help it grow and I very much appreciate that support from all of you. Well yes, in the lead up to the ULES expansion, uh, Sadiq Khan has been accused of various half-truths, untruths and outright lies and a few clangers along the way. Well, it's all caught up with him and it looks like an imp uh, independent investigator is going to look into a series of complaints made about him. And this is some of the details. One thing that worries me with these independent investigations do they call them independent just to make them sound like that and they're actually not how much money is it going to cost and is the result going to be inevitable but we'll have a look at this he's to be investigated for a possible breach of the city hall code of conduct in uh, relation to comments that he made about uh, prior to the ULES expansion the greater london authorities monitoring officer rory mckenna has decided to an, uh, appoint an independent inv investigator to look at complaints received about the mayor from Nick Rogers, a Tory member of the London Assembly, and apparently there's other individuals that have made complaints as well. These relate to the consultation, and this is a very, very grey area with this whole thing, run by Transport for London last summer. This consultation found that two-thirds of respondents opposed the expansion. And Mr Khan's knowledge of the responses during the 10 weeks of consultation was open. Now we know there's a little bit of input from Howard Cox, don't we, about how Fairfoot Fuel UK respondents were treated. I think just as one respondent and the rest were slung out. All very dodgy. Mr Rogers claimed that Mr Khan knowingly made false and dishonest statements to the London Assembly last October and November in relation to what and when he knew about the consultation results. Mr Khan admitted to the Assembly that there was a working summary of the consultation process, but denied being given the final results prematurely. The Mayor was subject to detailed questioning on the issue from Tory Assembly member Peter Fortune last October and November. Now in the link in the description below, there is a video uh, there with some of this going over. Now, we know from video footage we've seen in the past, wherever he's asked questions, he swerves right round them or just doesn't answer them at all. Critics of Mr Khan remain angry that he decided to give the go-ahead for the ULES across Greater London, despite a majority of respondents to the consultation being opposed. Now, to get around this, Mr Khan uh, Sadiq actually turned around and said at one stage that the consultation had been hijacked by motoring campaigners and, uh, and people living outside of London and he's very much tried to keep this a London issue where he doesn't think about all the people coming in from other areas, does he, on a daily basis. Mr Rogers, transport spokesman for the City Hall Conservatives, first made the complaint this is all about in January and there was about 200 pages worth of documents which he gave in to support you know, the allegations. The complaint from Mr Rogers claimed Mr Carr misled and made false and dishonest statements to the London Assembly over what he knew about the responses to the ULES consultation. And again, there's a little bit of that in the link below. ULES expanded London-wide on August the 29th, as we know. A third part of Mr Rogers' complaint, the, mayor, the mayoral aides improper, improperly used City Hall resources to interfere with the ULES expansion consultation process to skew the results in the Mayor's favour. And that's not be, being investigated. Sources told us uh, the uh, press investigation would also look into People's Question Time public meeting in Ealing, to which Mr Khan said, 
Euler's opponents were holding hands with far-right. Yes, I remember that very well. We were all called far-right extremists if we opposed it. At the Ealing meeting, a group of protesters were seen outside with signs that depicted the mayor with a swastika and a hammer and sickle. Again, that's what people think about it. And there's a little bit more uh, detail in here about how we tried to influence his re-election by discussing it openly way before the fact and various other things. It makes for interesting reading. Uh, go and have a look and obviously let me know what you think. Um, as I said at the beginning of this video, independent investigators, I find, generally don't come across as very independent. I might be wrong, but that's the way I feel about it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Most importantly of all, thank you very much. Have a good weekend, and hopefully I'll see you at some point on Sunday. Toodaloo.